2023 brought record heat around the planet and a record number of billion dollar weather and climate disasters for the United States. Now, many scientists believe that 2024 will bring more of the same, but 2023 also brought progress for climate change, global pledges to phase down fossil fuel use, protections for forests and advancements in breakthrough technology like nuclear fusion. National climate reporter Chase Kane highlights five ways we embrace climate action in 2023. 2023 goes down as the hottest year in human history, likely hotter than any time in 125,000 years. So yeah, covering climate change can be a bit gloomy, but there are things we can celebrate too. Here are five wins for climate action as we head into the new year. First, wind and solar power have never been cheaper. They're now clearly the cheapest way to generate power. And a report from Think Tank Energy Innovation says it costs less to build brand new wind or solar than it costs to keep an existing coal power plant open. And that is fueling things like agrivoltaic. Which doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, but does make sense, right? It's where you're partnering the photovoltaic, the solar generation, with agricultural usage. Pivot Energy built these win-win-win panels in Denver. Locals can buy clean energy without any panels on the roof, and their all-natural lawnmowers help farmers too. Uh, the farmer that we partner with on that is able to you know, have his flock there. We actually also have uh, beehives on the site as well to pollinate the grasses, and, and there's a beekeeper that uses that, and obviously gets the revenue from the, the honey from it as well. Speaking of money, tax breaks on electric vehicles helped Americans embrace the fossil fuel-free future. EV sales could top 1.4 million this year. That's almost one in 10 new cars sold, a new record for the U.S. And more good news for Motor City. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer signed one of the most aggressive transitions to clean energy for any state, targeting 100% renewables by 2040. So I think it's exciting because Michigan is very much a purple state, but also a very heavy manufacturing state, can go forward into a clean energy economy. That's something that we all need to do um, in a way that protects our businesses and shows other states how we can do it in a state that isn't traditionally a blue state. And looking to 2024, a majority of registered voters, 58 percent, think global warming is serious enough that the president should declare a climate emergency. Research from Yale and George Mason also shows solid majorities from both parties also support climate friendly policies from Congress. And that kind of broad support could very well shape 2024's critical election. So this is a good reminder to make sure your voter registration is up to date. In New York, I'm national climate reporter Chase Kane.